traffic. Oh, Jesus. There's a trail. What's the sign say? Whoa. Ow. What the heck was that? I don't know. What the heck was that? Welcome to Cabin, by the way. The short interactive horror story. I've, oh, God. Oh, it's gone. Of course it's gone. I should check my tires. Oh, should I? Oh, okay. You can probably t <laughs> tell I've never driven a car. Well, they, they look fine. <laughs> Bit of bit of snow on them. Um, oh no! Oh no! That one's gone. Should get the gear from the bed of my truck and camp for the night. I'll worry about this in the morning. Oh sure. I think you should probably worry about it now. I mean, <laughs> yeah. This is a lovely place to camp. Oh good. Just handy camping gear. Maybe it's like an American thing. Do you guys take camping gear with you whenever you go somewhere, just in case? You hit a mysterious beast in the road. Uh, should I maybe close this door? Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that was a... That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I wish I hadn't done that. But we need to close the door. Will you stop swinging my viewpoint around? It scares the shit out of me every time you do it. Or at least my car is now secure. No boogeyman are going to climb in... This side. Oh. Communal cabin up ahead. Sounds this racy. Those cabins that hikers share. I gotta check it out. Sounds like a swingers retreat. Okay, I <laughs> should we guess I should probably be more attentive. That's why you're swinging my head around like it's not yeah, a fucking lazy good. Susan. Oh, wolves! Need what the fuck is that? The gingerbread man? What the hell was that? <laughs> Getting stalked by the gingerbread man. I think that's the cabin right there. That would be a cabin. No, looks like somebody's inside already. Does it? It's a lamp. I thought it was a head. <laughs> I just not with Hello? your torch. <laughs> Man, it's getting colder out here. Someone must be using the cabin. Yeah, the, the fire's on. Left. Yeah. Maybe they left to grab firewood. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure. I'd leave to grab firewood in the middle of the fucking night, I but. Think I should just go inside. I'm sure they won't mind since the weather's getting bad. Yeah, they're probably dead, mate. <laughs> Anyone who chops firewood in the blizzard's probably a couple of brain cells short of a full complement anyway. I think I'm just shaken up from the tire blowing out on me. A snack will help calm me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they won't. Oh, I thought you should eat their food. Well, they've got some needles there if you want to shoot up. Ooh, dark chocolate or almond? Almond all the way, mate. There you go, just shove the whole wrapper right in that big old gob of yours. Oh, okay. We're getting both our stuff down. Okay, can we explore the cabin? Let's just shoot up. That's what I want to do right now. <laughs> yes. There's some special radioactive that uh, sorry, poisonous pills there. Um just what you need for a good night's sleep is some poison. Uh <laughs> and they haven't done their dishes, the dirty scrounges. Um, so I have to get out my cat. I guess I have to read this note on the table if my viewpoint will let me. Read notes. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that is, but there is some kind of bear out there that is trying to kill me. Please, whoever is reading this, be sure to call for help because I cannot do this alone, and I might as well die in here. You might as well. <laughs> you mean you might die in here, or is oh, I might as well just fucking die. Just be careful out there. It might come after you next. Is that the gingerbread man? Is it the gingerbread bear? Ooh. Dear Jessica, I'm sorry if I haven't really been in touch with you. I've been busy doing the hunt with the deputy for this monster. How are the kids? Tell them that daddy says hi and I'll be back home shortly. Love you, ex person Jason. Because he is certainly dead. Whoa. Something's outside. Uh, can I take my. Uh, lock the door, maybe? No, don't open the fucking door. Lock it. It's locked right there. Why would you go outside and knock, knock it some boogie, man? Jesus. And that's the... Oh, Christ. Ooh. Is this Bob? Jason? You want me to... I'm going back. No, it won't even let me go back to the house. Okay. Let's, let's do the 
the horror protagonist thing and just blunder straight in. Why don't you just coat yourself with barbecue sauce? Because it's still going to come at the same outcome. Ooh, I can see you. What, is that an eye socket? Oh, that's a bear. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck me. Ooh, it's half a bear. Oh, God, yeah. I, mm, don't blame me on that one. Uh, can we go back to the cabin? Yep. Oh, Jesus. He's, ooh, he's having a bit of a trouble. Oh, God, there's the bear. Wait, does it move? Oh, God, that's not a bear. That's a butt. What the fuck is that? Jesus. So, okay. Well, we didn't last long. Um, Darketh Elderbore. Nice. Uh, <laughs> well, that was Cabin. Um, a short little horror, horror game there. Um, I mean, it was pretty interesting. It was actually, for such a short game, it actually wasn't badly done. It had pretty good atmosphere. Just like walking around. I feel like they could have kept the running like at the end longer when he was swaying around. Because that was a really effective kind of panicked run actually. Um, like maybe having run to the cabin but you can't find the cabin so he just gets like deeper in the woods. Because it felt like I just turned away from the bear and just ran like two steps and then suddenly oh boogie man with his fine ass there. Um, the like way it took control was a bit weird but I can understand why they do it because it's like the whole idea of making a story and just shit like choosing between the two like chocolate bars was actually pretty good like if that was in a longer game that would have been amazing because it's like insignificant choices but choices that feel pretty human which is good um so i'll be interested i think it's like the first in a series of short stories i don't know if they're all going to be interconnected or anything like that or whether they're just going to be like a compendium um but it's worth keeping an eye on the developer and if you want to play cabin for yourself i'll put a link down in the description uh, and let me know what you think. So, thank you so much for watching. And if you like my content, please do check out my other videos. If you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.